What's up guys, Joe Eves here with Computer Copilot bringing you another quick tutorial. This one is on how to create a landing page or a squeeze page for your WordPress websites without using a plugin. Okay, let's get started on making this landing page. So you're going to be at your website. When you're at your website, you're gonna go ahead and go to your back office. If you don't know how to do that, then I have other videos that I'll be sharing to show you how to use WordPress. Um, a little bit more but I'm gonna go ahead and click on my tab since I already have it open and I'm in my back office right now or dashboard is what they call it and from the dashboard what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go down to pages and add new and that's going to create a new page so this page I'm going to label it my campaign so let's say that I have a Facebook ad uh, running and I have a link I want to direct them to I'm going to take them to uh, this page and I'll call it um, so there we go desert bluff Facebook ad it doesn't really matter what you say because it's only going to end up in the URL up here most people don't even pay attention to that but that's okay so I'm going to go ahead and hit advanced layout editor because I'm using uh, a via's layout builder which is um, part of the Enfold theme. So if you don't have Enfold, it's a great, uh, great WordPress theme. Anyway, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I've created this page. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have um, just a really fast uh, background. So I'm going to go ahead and do Layout Elements and I'm going to choose a color selection. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a contact form. But before I do that, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my page a little bit more. Maybe I want to have uh, a video playing on the left. So what maybe what I'll do is uh, let's do. Hmm. Trying to decide how I want to do this. Let's try this. So I'm going to bring this down to one fifth. All right. So now that I have that there, I'm going to go ahead and make this one bigger and this one bigger. So let's see. So right now I'm just kind of thinking of how I want to lay out my lay out my page. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do it like that. Yeah, let's do it like that. And then I'll duplicate this <clears throat> and put this on this side. So now I have some spacing, a video here, and a contact form there. That looks good. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the My Elements tab. Now this is only if you have this Avia Layout Builder with Enfold, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to drop a video right there. And then I'm going to go to the Contact Form under Content Elements, Contact Form here. And I created a... Uh, basically a background color so I'm gonna go ahead and do this color selection and I'm gonna do set the background and we'll have it mm, I can insert an image if I wanted but I think I'll just do this Maybe this. And then go to a light. I don't know. We'll have to look at it and see how it looks. Okay, I might change that. Anyway, so I can put a video URL right there. So if I wanted to, I could put that in there. So next thing is contact form. Let's fill that out. So the contact form, I'm going to put in my email that... I want it sent to. Um, this is the title. So you're, what you're going to see is you're going to see over here element preview. As I'm building this, you're going to see what it looks like. I don't need a message. So I'm going to get rid of the message and it's going to update and get rid of that message. 
Uh, I do want a phone number, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to put phone. Okay, now I've got my phone text input. Validation will be a valid phone number, full width. So now you can see I've got name, email, subject, phone. Um, I'm going to rearrange these a little bit. So I'm going to do name, phone, email, and the subject. The other thing that I'm going to do is put learn more. And instead of submit, it's learn more. That seems less um, intrusive. I'm just going to put have questions up there. Display this message. OK, that's OK. So when they hit submit, it's going to say your message has been sent. That works. Um, I'm going to leave this blank because it will add a new message and it'll tell me who it came from. If I wanted an autoresponder, I could put that in there, but I'm not going to fill anything out right now. This is just a quick contact form or landing page. I'm going to display a CAPTCHA because I want uh, to make sure that I'm not getting spammed. And Everything else looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So now that I have all this set up, we've got two contact forms in here for some reason. Anyway, now that I have two things set up, that looks pretty good. If I wanted to add some more information, videos, text, whatever I could. But for now, this is just a quick page to get more information. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. So now that I have it published, it's going to give me this permalink. This permalink is what you want to put in where your ads go uh, because then it'll take you directly to that page. So I'm going to click on that and as you can see now I have my landing page and everything else is good. So um, just for a fast reference just so you can see um, what the video looks like I'll go ahead and just put in, in here I'll just take this URL And we'll go here, edit the page, and I'll paste the video URL right there. Go ahead and save it. Hit update. Once it's updated, copy the link. I always like to open up it in another, another tab rather than the other so I can bounce back and forth. And so now you can see I have my video here so they can see the video. I have questions and if I wanted to I could put a little bit of text underneath here explaining more about what it is. So now you can see why I have those blocks in there is because it blocks off and squeezes everything in. If I wanted to I could make this a little smaller and this a little bigger. Hit update. That's why it's handy to have this tab because then I can go into the tab and just hit refresh and it will shift everything. See how it made the video on that. But obviously um, I think the video should be the biggest thing just to kind of grab their attention and then a very non-threatening form for them to fill out. Anyway, um, that is how you create a landing page for your uh, website that is not on here, but you can take this link and put it in any area that you want people to get um, you know, like a, they want to get a, a URL if you're paying for an ad and it says here, put this, put this uh, link in or the, where you want to direct them. You take that link and put it in and it goes right there. So hope this video is helpful, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching and take care.